All right, welcome back, everybody. Here we go, heading into week four of our Winnipeg South Fantasy Football League. I'm actually back with, look at this, two weeks in a row. All right, I'm going to try. Fridays at lunch is a pretty good time, unless I got stuff going on, but it should be pretty decent. Uh, the weekends are just too busy, so I'm going to try it here, like I said. So I'm going to start off this week running through last week's winners and losers. So um, in our first matchup, we had myself against Jay and Adam, and I had predicted that the Evil Buddies would win, and they did. Uh, the second matchup we have is Run CMC, Richard and Liam versus Better Call Hall, Jeremy. I narrowly gave Richard a victory in a close one, and I was wrong. He won by 30 points. And the next one was um, Tom versus Rob, so Treehorn Ladies versus Hot Garbage. I had predicted Tom would win, and he snuck out a victory by about a point and a half almost uh, to get his first win of the season. Uh, the upset of the week right here. I had Dallas beating Jen. In my brain, it wasn't going to be close, and in fact, it wasn't close. Jen beat Dallas by about 37 points to get her first win of the season, giving Dallas his first loss of the season. Uh, so it's huge for Jen, got her out to the bottom group there, and I think she's ahead of me now. So, hey, what can you do? Uh, next matchup is uh, the Winnipeg Foreskins versus Wayne the Chop Blockers. Uh, I had Wayne win based on Richard's theory that Wayne isn't going to lose a game this season. And lo and behold, he won again, going to 3-0. and oh. um, He's up there in points four, so that helps him out there for sure, keeps him at the top. And Ty falls to 1-2. and two. And in the last matchup, I had predicted that Dave would beat Sunil uh, to knock Sunil down and lose his first one of the year. And Dave did win 214 to 168. So a big victory there, about 45 points. Uh, so that is the largest victory of the week. Uh, so good on that. So uh, in the video here somewhere, you will see the standings after uh, last week. So take a look. It's got uh, points for all that stuff. So just take a look how everyone's doing. We got Wayne at the top. Followed by Dave, Jay and Adam, then Sunil at 4, Dallas at 5, Richard at 6, Ty at 7, Jen at 8, Tom at 9, uh, Rob here at 10, and then myself, the Devils at 11, and Better Call Hall, Jeremy is 0 and 3, and is in 12th place. So, I'm only going to post the standings every few weeks, we don't need to have it up there every week. If you're anything like me, you're looking at it anyway on a semi-daily basis. Um, so yeah, so we'll head on to this week's matchups. Uh, this is one of our original rival rivalry weeks. Uh, week four isn't week four and week ten. Uh, they're based on kind of how we finished last year. So this is the week where one versus twelve, two versus eleven, three versus ten, and so on. So it works out that Jeremy and I play each other. The two basement dwellers are playing each other. Uh, loser of this matchup is in twelfth place. Um, looking at the scores here, Yahoo has Jeremy f uh, favored by about 19 points. Uh, that changed sl very slightly after last, last night's game with Jordan Reed uh, there for Jeremy. Uh, Jordan Reed, that's not his name at all. Uh, what is his name? Sorry. Jaden Reed. Sorry, I was thinking the tight end. Was it tight end, Jordan Reed? Anyway, um, so yeah, so I think Jeremy is going to win this. My team is in shambles. Drake London, who I had high hopes for, is not showing that way. Lawrence and the Jags are struggling right now. My running backs are just, just terrible. Uh, so what are you going to do? So I think um, Jeremy will beat me. He's got Adams, who's phenomenal, a lot excuse me, Olave, Cook, Waddle, if he's back. I mean, I hope he is. I have another league, so I'm hoping he's back for that one. If he's not, uh, I'll probably lose that league too. And yeah, so I think Jeremy's going to win this one handedly, probably by 30, 40 points. He gets a kicker in there. That'll just add to it. So I don't have much faith in my team. So we'll move on from that one to a uh, battle of two top teams here. We got... Uh, Jay and Adam versus Wayne, our top team. 
Uh, we got Jade Adam had the number one fantasy quarterback in Kirk Cousins. Even after two his week last week, Kirk Cousins is still number one. Team's 0-3. I don't know. All uh, right. Um, Wayne has a steady group of guys here. Prescott Allen, Judy. Uh, Shahid's been really good. Walker has been better than I expected. Moss is still running the rock. Uh, yeah, Gabe Davis catches everything. Um See, evil buddies, but I think he goes by A-Chan, A-Chan, it's not A-Chan, uh, on his team this week, left 51 points on the bench last week and still beat me, and Karen Williams, uh, Devonta Smith, Kelsey, pretty good team as well, um, Yahoo has Jade Adam favored over Wayne by about 16, 15 points, well, I said it. I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to give Wayne the victory here. Go move him to 4-0 and the buddies to 2-2. Two two. Uh, next matchup we got here is Dallas at 2-1 versus Rob at 1-2. Uh, Rob had Amonse Brown yesterday. Had a good night. 16.6 points. Musgrave failed to do anything for uh, Dallas yesterday. Uh, one reception for one yard. Let's see. Dallas is currently favored by about five points. Let's see. Let me do a quick glance. I do like Diggs, Allen, Connection. Pickens ain't bad. Mixon Swift. So I'm hoping for Cincy to get things rolling. They've been really struggling. I want to see that team get going. Um, as I said last week, I hope Puka goes because I got Puka in two other leagues. Uh, let's see what else here. Pacheco, Robinson, Palmer. Uh, well, I'm going to take Dallas to win again. Or sorry, to get back from losing to win again. Uh, to move to 3-1 and one, and Rob to fall to 1-3. and three. All right. Next matchup is Ty, the Winnipeg Foreskins versus Jen, the Trophy Wife. Uh, yeah, who currently has Ty favored by about 14 points. Uh, just quickly th looking through the teams here. Let's write the Jefferson Chase connection. Uh, Gibbs, Laporta played last night. Underperformed slightly compared to projections, but still fairly decent. Uh, see if since he can get rolling tomorrow or tomorrow, Sunday. I uh, think Jen's looking good there. Brown, Godwin. I don't think he'll put up 40 points against Buffalo, but hey, you never know. Uh, I'm going to go out on a limb on this one, actually. And unlike her Packers, Jen is going to win and steal a victory from Ty. Jen's going to go to 2-2 two and two, and Ty is going to go to 1-3. and three. All right, next matchup. Ooh, Battle of... Um, I don't know, buddies, tall and shorts, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, it's a good time. Uh, but when these two guys give jabs to each other about stuff, it's always fun. Um, all right, we got Richard here, uh, uh, is currently the underdog against Dave by about 15 points. Um, Richard, who knocked me for drafting Purdy in another league, is starting him. Sam um let's see what else uh dave's got hertz and hill i said last week he probably couldn't put up 40 points again and well i was wrong so what do you know and uh, i know nothing uh kamara he's got starting his first week back i'm intrigued by that um i know it's three weeks but it's not injury coming back it's you know three weeks of sitting so we'll see uh, I wanted to draft him, but I drafted Akers instead, thinking I could get Kamara on the turn, but did not happen. Big mistake. Uh, all right. I do like Debo. I think he's a really good receiver. All right. Metcalf, Henry, Madison, McCaffrey. All right. I'm going to give this one to Dave. I think it's going to be close, though. I do. I think it's going to be like... Five to ten points close, just looking at these teams here. Um, so Dave will go to three and one, and Richard will fall to two and two. And last matchup already, uh, we got Tom 
The Treehorn Ladies versus Sunil, the Winnipeg Jets. Uh, what do we got here? We got Tom is currently favored by about six points. And Goff did not help. Uh, Sunil yesterday, I thought he would have been better. I didn't get a chance to watch the whole game. Um, I thought he had another passing touchdown, but I guess he did not. It was all Montgomery. Oh, I didn't even see whose bench he was on. But uh, anyway, um, Goff underperformed, so that didn't help him. Um, oh, da -da -da, McLaurin Woods Cook Centers. I am going to give this one to Tom. Tom's going to win for the second week in a row to get back to 2-2, two and two, 500. And Sunil will lose for the second week in a row and fall to 500. And, uh, yeah, that's my predictions this week. Um, let's see if I do better than last week. Or, sorry, do better than last week puts me at 6-0. Uh, and oh. I went 5-1 and one last week. Uh, so running through the list, I have Jeremy, then I have Wayne, and then I took Dallas, then I took Jen, and I took Dave, and then I took Tom. So that's my guesses for the week. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you don't, don't watch. All right. Talk to you later, guys. Have a good one. Bye.